Hello children, I hope you are doing beautiful mathematics. In this particular video, we will learn about an interesting strategy to solve geometry problems. This particular problem came up in NMTC. It is a mathematical olympiad from India. But this strategy will be useful for other mathematical contests like American Math Competition, IOQM and so on. Now let's look at this. It's a very surprising little problem with a twist. The problem says that there are two equilateral triangles. One of them is ABD, this one. And you should draw a picture of this, pausing the video here, okay? So ABD is, a, is an equilateral triangle. And there is another equilateral triangle, BEC, this one. So there are two equilateral triangles and it's, there's nothing given related to the length of the sides of the equilateral triangle. So it's just ABD, that's equilateral. And it's also given that BEC, this one, is equilateral. Are the same? Maybe. Are the different? Could be the side lengths. Uh, nothing is given related to that. Okay. Now they join AE and they join CD. AE and CD, they join the two peaks with the two corners and suppose they intersect at F. The question is what is AFC? What is this angle? Let me draw it in red. What is angle AFC? Now, this problem has the so-called butterfly picture inside it. And this butterfly picture is actually in many, many, many problems in geometry, uh, especially the Napoleon triangle problems. I have talked about that in some other video in this YouTube channel. If you're interested in geometry, you can look at it. So what is the butterfly picture? Uh, let me quickly draw it. And it appears in many problems. So it will be useful. Butterfly picture. So the butterfly picture is like this. You have something like this. And you have something like this. So you can imagine that there is a sort of a butterfly in this particular picture and these are the wings of the butterfly. So it's just an imaginative uh, way of talking about this sort of an arrangement. And whenever you see butterfly pictures, uh, it might so happen that this particular triangle is congruent to this triangle. This particular triangle is similar to this triangle. The important part is to see the intersection of the triangle and think about them separately. That's the uh, sort of the interesting part in this particular arrangement. So let's come back to this picture quickly. So here also we have a butterfly picture. I'll draw it and you will immediately see. This is the first triangle. And this is the second triangle. So the two triangles that we will be comparing are triangle ABE, A, B, e, this one, and triangle BDC. Triangle BDC. Now notice that they are similar. The triangles are similar. Why? Because Angle A, B, okay, so let's look at this. This angle is 60 degree because this is an equilateral triangle. This angle is 60 degree because this is an equilateral triangle. So the remaining angle here must also be 60 degree, okay, because the three angles should add up to 180. Now, we also know that AB over BE is equal to 
AB over BE is equal to BD over BC. BD over BC. In fact, they're not only, the ratios are not only equal, they're lengthwise same. Because AB, AB is equal to BD. And BE, BE is equal to BC. Because this is an equilateral triangle, so B is equal to BC. This is an equilateral triangle, so AB is equal to BD. No problem. And the angle is 100, angle ABE is equal to angle CBD because both are 120 degrees. Both are 120 degrees. So, these two triangles are similar. Actually, they are also congruent, but we don't even need the congruence. We just need the similarity. So, we have two triangles which are similar, also congruent. So now, what we can immediately say is this little angle, this angle in red, is equal to this angle in red. Okay? And this angle in green is equal to this angle in green. Okay? Now let's draw, let's do the final construction. There are a couple of ways you can approach this. It's almost done actually. You can couple of ways approach this. One is that you notice that these two are parallel. AD and BE are parallel. AD is parallel to BE. So this angle is also the green angle. Because they are alternate angles, right? This angle and this angle are equal. So, this is also green. So, red plus green is, red plus green is 60 degree. So, red plus green is 60 degree. Now, if red plus green is 60 degree, then red plus green is also 60. So, this red and this green is 60. This is 60, so this remaining angle of this small triangle must be 60 degree. Red plus green is 60. This angle is of course 60, so the remaining angle here must be 60. 60 degree. Now if this is 60 degree, angle DFA is 60 degree, so clearly angle AFC must be 120 degree. That's our answer. Angle AFC is 120 degree. It is actually a shorter way to do this problem if you consider cyclic quadrilateral. But I did not want to go into cyclic quadrilaterals because I want to, you know, just use similarity and just angle chasing and to finish up this problem. You could use cyclic quadrilaterals. In fact, that is a challenge problem that I will give you. Can you write in the comment section there are two cyclic quadrilaterals in this picture which are immediately visible. Can you give me the names of those cyclic quadrilaterals in the comment section? I hope you learned something from this video, especially in this kind of problems. Look out for the butterfly picture. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care and uh, keep on doing good problems. Okay, bye.